Hello guys, this is Nana from nanacampana.com. I am um, here to talk to you about something that I've been learning. I know that my blog has been a little bit empty and I'm going to tell you what, what's been going on. Um, and I guess I'm kind of combining it also with a leave, leaving God, God's prints. Um, the Lord has been shaking my world. As you all know, I've been doing the Ashes to Beauty and it has been an amazing, amazing journey. Not only for the ladies that have participated, but also for me. Um, I've learned that when God says something and when He has plans, no one can take Him away. And um, He intends that we have beauty, and sometimes it takes pain um, and brokenness to take us there. And having looked back at what it is that God had done in my life, looking at the past and looking at where He's taking me, has been very humbling and um, just a very um, sobering moment in with me and the Lord and um, I want to to share with you something that that really came out of this journey for me and in terms of leaving God's prints um, I don't know how many of you are mommies or daddies if there's guys that ever read my blog <laughs> um, but if you are I'm sure that at one point or another you have said very clearly to your child um, you need to do this because I said so and that's that and it's funny because recently I was thinking of that. My daughter kept asking something and finally I looked at her and said, you know, I already made it clear because I said so. You need to do it, period. There's no ifs, buts, or ands. Go and do it. And like two or three weeks later, I said something or she asked me to do something and I asked her, some, I asked her something about, well, baby, I can't do it now. And she's like, well, but I said so. And I had to sit and explain the difference between um, me saying I said so and her saying I said so. And right after I explained that to her, I was so convicted because the Lord reminded me of times that He's made things clear in my life, of things that He's brought onto my life. And I've questioned Him, um, not with a heart of true questioning, like, Lord, what is it that you're trying to do? But more like, Lord, I don't want to do that. And I don't understand it. And you need to change it. And so... I guess I wanted to share what the Lord has been doing and, and just bring about a scripture that I came across um, and that we've done in the from um, Ashes to Beauty. It is Ephesians 2.10. It says, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And it's funny because that verse begins by saying that we are His workmanship. In other words, He made us. And it's almost the same thing that we feel as parents, right? Like Cosby always said, I brought you into this world, I can take you right out. Well, it's that same concept, except that we really didn't create our children. We just had them in our belly and gave birth to them. But the Lord did create us, and He has a purpose for our lives. And everything that He brings onto our lives is, is for a purpose. And very recently, I've been going through a lot of, I can't even explain to you, um, difficult symptoms right and apparently the symptoms are leading towards a possible tumor and my pituitary gland and the brain and yesterday I spent probably the entire day in a funk just really thinking why Lord I don't I don't understand this um, I, I, I can't really comprehend what you're doing I don't understand the purpose of this I'm uh, not that I was upset at him but I was kind of acting like my daughter asking why why Lord and the Lord just reminded me of the fact that everything that happens in my life is for my good and with the ultimate purpose of exchanging those ashes that are remaining in my life for beauty. Um, he really just showed me how if He has plans for me to complete, He will complete it. He has prepared me um, from the moment that I was born, everything that I've lived and continues to prepare me to accomplish things in this world. Um, and so... I guess my leaving God's prints for today is whenever the Lord shows you something and is clear, do not be surprised when he says, I told you so. Just like the, our children shouldn't be surprised when we respond, I told you so. I told you to do it. I told you to go ahead and do this. And there should be no question because I said so. More than I told you so, it's really because I said so. When the Lord responds in your life, no matter how difficult things are, when he says, because I said so, you need to be encouraged and know that God is responding in that way because he has a bigger glory to bring towards your life. 
because he's going to take you from victory to victory. The word of God says that God cannot lie. And if he cannot lie, that means that he will complete the work he started in you because that's what the Bible says. The Bible says that absolutely everything that happened in your life is for your good. And even the things, and I know that the ladies that have gone through this journey are starting to really understand this. Even the things that are very difficult, the most painful, that have brought the most brokenness to your life, even in those things, when God says, because I said so, it's because he's going to do something unbelievable and will bring you closer to that moment of being filled with his beauty. So I pray that you would be able to find comfort in the shadow of his wings, that you would find refuge in his strong tower of refuge, that he would become your comfort, that even if they tell you that you have cancer, that you have a tumor, that you have whatever it is that you might be terrified of, that you would know that God is still greater than those things. May you be blessed. And may you know that when, again, when the Lord says, because I said so, those are sweet words because his promise is that he will complete the work he has started and his work is truly good. May you be blessed. Love you and I hope to see you soon again. Bye-bye.